Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with The Boathouse. Today we are in front of the 2019 Boat of the Year. This is the 2020 Solus 345, brand new offering from Daughtry Manufacturing. We're going to do a little walkthrough on this boat, but before we get started on that, I want to do a little bit of overview on the actual construction of this hull. It is a full carbon fiber and epoxy hull that gets resin infused, vacuum bagged, and then, and then it is uh, heat treated um, in an oven. What that does is gives you a stronger but lighter haul. They didn't want to build a light boat, but because of all the extra features that you will see on this boat, they wanted to have some weight savings to still put this in around that 14,000 pound boat fully loaded. As we step back a little bit further, first thing you're gonna notice on this boat is this patented fish through transom. Couple great things about this transom, one, they've made the motors wider. You can either run these twin 450 Mercury's or you can want run the twin 425 Yamaha's. One nice thing about them being wider you, and close quarter maneuvering, you have a little bit more pull from either direction. Also, this boat only has a two foot draft, a 24 inch draft, and that is actually to the bottom of the boat. The skegs of these motors are actually higher than the keel of this boat. So you can be running in that two foot of water or just, a, just above with these all the way down. So let's hop on board and take a look. As we walk onto this boat, one thing you're gonna notice is this swim platform off the rear. This swim platform actually extends four foot out and then you're also gonna have a swim ladder that pops out down below that as well. That's gonna sit right at the water line of the hull. As we step onto the boat, as you can see, you have all this room back in the back. This boat is actually 34 feet to the engines then you have an additional four foot to that transom door. That makes it 38 feet length overall. The nice thing about that, on a traditional boat, you're gonna have your same splash wall here, then you're gonna have your live wells, fish boxes. By the time you get inside the interior of the boat, this is where you're gonna be at. Look at all this extra space, cockpit space you have. This boat is really great for all different styles of boating, whether it be cruising, fishing, diving. I'll kind of walk through some different scenarios on all of that. One, this walk through transom, you can get behind the motors. You're not trying to fish over top of the motors. You get behind it. For cruising, you can be sitting in the back of this boat, very comfortable in a beanbag chair. Plus you have all this ample space for sitting around and lounging. As we step in, pull out rear seats on either side makes for real comfortable seating as well as we have this slide out mezzanine seating here if you're a diver nice fiberglass spot to sit on put your gear on you've got your tank that can sit there on that fiberglass or if you're looking to cruise after a long day nice mezzanine seating rear facing seating to lounge as we're hanging out here in the afternoon again plenty of seating that you wouldn't have available if you had that standard transom on this boat slide that back in flip up your rear seats and you got a nice large fishing platform then in the back here as well looking at these live wells you got two 45 gallon pressurized live wells on either side with two six gallon tuna tubes on the front side of both of those. Plenty of space. They are all um, insulated live wells. They're pressurized live wells. Another awesome thing about this boat when you're talking about the raw water is this sea chest down below in here. Two large intake strainers, oversized intake strainers, fill this pressurized sea chest. What that does is then gives you plenty of water if you're aired out or anything to any of your live well pumps and your sea keeper pumps, your AC, whatever it may be, plenty of water then in this boat for that. Close that back up. On any nice offshore boat for any rough days, the new biggest craze in the industry is gonna be the sea keeper. They've designed this boat with the Sea Keeper in mind. It's got a designated location for the Sea Keeper. You got a Sea Keeper 2 on board. Also access to your full inverter. That's right, it's an inverter, not a generator. 
So as you're hanging out, you're not gonna hear that generator noise, that inverter's gonna run the AC, gonna run power for your pull-out sunshade, the sea keeper, the whole nine yards. All of your uh, batteries, battery switches, everything ACR system, easily accessible down below in there. Moving forward a little bit further, on either side of the floor, you got nice, large, seven foot long fish boxes that are fully insulated. Here on your tackle center, you're gonna have fridge freezer combo, plenty of drawers. And then up on top here, really nice setup. You got a sink here. You have a prep sink here. So if you're cutting bait or anything and wanna push anything off to the side, nice prep sink there and an electric grill. Fully set up for those days you're cruising or if you're fishing hard, you've got this full prep station sink set up there. Close that back down. As you can see, we are underneath of this nice sunshade. Very easily to you know, control, very sturdy. You can run with it while moving. It's not one of those that you can only use stationary. So very nice sturdy sunshade there. Let's move forward a little bit further. This is where this boat becomes very, very feature rich. So now here we're at the helm. First thing that I notice is this awesome mitigation system. Very comfortable mitigation system for your feet. All of your seats are on these shockwave seats. So as we sit down on them, they're gonna compress as you're going through some waves, whether it be three, four footers and you're cruising, you're sitting back, the seat is gonna absorb a lot of that shock. We do have a very tall console here. Reason for doing that, one, protection behind the console, two, gives you a lot of extra room at the uh, side the berth. Because of that, they've offered this up to 10 inch riser. It'll come up to 10 inches off the ground and you can stop it at any point, but it's gonna give you plenty of height to see over the bow of your boat. Or if you're sitting in this captain's chair and looking to lounge, I've got a solid place to, to put my feet, whether I got it up here and then I'm pushing back or if I'm lounging a little more with feet down. So nice, comfortable seating, you know, three way all the way across. All three of those again are on that shockwave system. At the helm, we're also looking at full tempered glass windshield. The forward tempered glass windshield is actually on, a, on two hydraulics. So because of that, we can close that off if we get in any inclement weather, if it's a cold day, if you're just looking to hang out behind and talk a little bit more, we do have AC up in the cab, um, AC down below in, in the uh, berth. So if you wanna just stay cool, sit back here, have less wind in your face, you can do so. You're going slow, want a little bit more airflow, crack it. Or open a halfway, you know, you can stop it at any point in time. If you're sitting at the beach hanging out or trolling, open it all the way, get that breeze coming through. So dual 17 inch displays, dual VHF radios, you've got radar, you've got FLIR night vision, you've got a spotlight, You've got your full skyhook joystick controls. Um, another small subtle little feature, battery chargers for your smartphone. Stick those in there, your phone's now charging. You got two ports for that. Nice storage on either side of the helm. Grab rail if you're getting into any weather. Looking at all of your piping, it's all Cerakoted. That's gonna be much stronger than any, any type of powder coating. It's not gonna you know, start scratching, chip away, bubbling like you see in some powder coating. Full designated spots for your fire extinguishers. Small, subtle little things that they've got set up on either side. A lot of times when you're putting this safety equipment on your boat, you're filling up different compartments, taking up fish boxes for it. They've got areas that they have set up all for that. Electronics wise, come standard with dual 8617 screens. You've got your um, sky hook for joystick controls, zip wake for your uh, trim tabs, so instead of being a standard trim tab, it's actually a, a metal plate that comes up and down that acts as that trim tab that's on either side of the motor. We have full radar on board. We have FLIR night vision on board, LED spotlight, all jail audio, a lot of great, great features on this. So another awesome thing that they've done is all their lighting is all incorporated by one brand because of that, all of your LED lighting is the exact same color. They use this uh, sh uh, shadow caster LED. Turn these on. And then now we can go into our system, into our switching system, 
and, and control all of your lighting throughout. This, whole, this boat's gonna have LED, I mean, lighting around the whole boat. All of your switching is here in the dash panel, as well as for different areas on the boat, whether you're talking about pumps for your live wells, LED lighting and audio controls. You've got different locations depending on where you're at that you can control, as well as you have the full control panels here at the, at the dash. Up on the bow here, you got this nice large lounge pad. They've done a five different density memory foam on this. So the longer you're sitting there, more comfortable it gets. You get to sit back, lounge, and you can actually ride from this position. Forward a little bit further. Nice large backrests. One hand controls to open up all your lids. You're not having to worry about taking the snaps off or anything to open up your lids. It's all right there. Another small feature, no snaps on board. All their seat cushions are on magnets. Easy to take off, you're not having to worry about snaps all the time. Once you're done, it goes right back into place. Moving further forward again, access to the windlass down below in here. And another small little subtle feature with that storage. You've got designated bumper storage. You can do two on either side, giving you four total bumpers. They actually go back into here. They're designated set up as bumper storage. Plenty of rod holders all along the sides of the gunnels. A um, lot, lot of room for your rods and everything. Storage all down the side of the boat. You got storage compartments all the way down the side. A real cool feature, if you come up here closer, a lot of these boats are gonna have just standard latches on them. And over time, when you slam doors and all that, you're gonna end up breaking those latches, they get bent, and then they're always a pain to close and keep closed. They've done all these roller latches. Again, just a small, subtle difference. Look how nice and easily that closes. Again, you know, you can, as you go to close it, little push, it rolls in. You don't gotta worry about trying to slam that door, open that latch to get in. Now this is a huge portion of this boat. Look at the size of this door and check this out. As we go from the closed position, look at how nice and smooth that transition is. Really large opening. The door goes, gets and goes out of your way so you can still walk through. If we had a traditional style door and we went to open it, it would hit the wall here and stop. Because of this style, we we're able to have a very large door, but still be able to open it fully. So follow me down in here. So down here in the floor, we're gonna have room for seven and a half foot rods. Flip up area for your toilet seat. Little sink down below here. On this back side is all access to all of your electronics. Nice little lounge seating here as well a large enough berth for two. I'm a six foot guy. For me laying down all the way in here, I've got plenty of room, I'm comfortable. Definitely room for two. It's... You got your little uh, microwave down here. You know, everything, enough to be out in the water for a couple days um, without feeling claustrophobic down here. Another awesome little feature is this large window on this side. It's actually, um, going to be tinted from the outside, so you can't see in it very well, but it gives you the ability to feel much larger down below in here. You don't feel so claustrophobic being caught up inside of here. All LED lighting around, overhead lighting to light it up at, at nighttime. Just really comfortable, a lot of room. Remember, this is only a 34 foot boat. Look at all the space we have in here for that 34 foot boat. Like I mentioned to you about it being a little bit larger of a console. Again, I'm six foot. I don't gotta worry about standing up in here. I still have another couple inches above me. Um, I don't feel like I don't have any room. Same thing getting in and out. Nice easy step up and you're right on out of the boat. It's not a tight little door to try and fit through. Again, going over a lot of the different features on this boat. This is a very feature rich boat with a lot of standard options. Carbon fiber outriggers, standard on this boat. All of your electronics, your 17 inch displays, the joystick, the zip wake, the radar, the sea keeper, the Fleur night vision, the spotlight, all these options are completely standard. We've also got carbon fiber rods, poles on either side that go up on the bow as a um, bow canopy then. So a sunshade up in the bow, it snaps on, gives you nice large cover over the front of the boat. So 
looking at this boat compared to a lot of the competition out there, you're getting a lot of different features, a lot of small subtle things that really are going to separate it. Not only are you going to have that fish through transom, but you know, your full mitigation system for the long days, the shockwave seats, the rear sunshade, the full uh, carbon fiber T-top, the upgraded JL sound system. This boat is completely loaded. Again, on the back of it, we can either run it with the Mercury 450s or the Yamaha 425s. Cool little fun fact on these 450s, you can run standard 87 octane on these 450s. The old, older Verados, the 400s, 350s, 300s, if you're running standard octane, you're actually having to detune those motors. They were actually putting out less performance than, than you know, advertised. With these new 450 racing motors, you are, you're getting the full performance on that. Um, the actual, some of the specs on this boat, again, 34 feet to the motors, 38 feet length overall. You're going to have your 325 gallons of usable fuel. So if you're doing a real long trip, you got plenty of range on this boat. Um, everything on this boat, like I said, is just overbuilt, very beefy, large hinges on the door, large yacht style cleats with your th through deck uh, access points on them you know even all the small subtle things of servicing the boat access down to your um your sea strainers your down below your sea keeper all of your batteries and everything just a really really well thought out overbuilt boat so if you have any additional questions on this boat feel free to contact us at any of our dealerships or just come visit us the boat's currently located at our uh, dealership off of davis in naples florida um, visit us on any of our social media or just visit our website check out some pictures we have to offer at www.boathouseh2o.com we look forward to seeing you and hope you have a great day thanks